The next song that you uh, wrote the words for that we did together, A Horse With Wings. And I know there's a really great story to the genesis of that song, if you could share that with us. Yeah, because I, I wrote that when I was quite young. I, I was 24 and I had started therapy, right? And I went to, um, you know, I live on the Upper West Side, like 70th and Columbus, but my therapy was on Barrow Street in Hudson in the village. So, um, and you know, when you're that age and you start therapy and I was paying for it by cleaning houses for a living and it was so explosive. I was so quickly um, emerging out of myself. As a matter of fact, I remember a few months into therapy when it suddenly dawned on me, oh my God, I don't bite my nails anymore. You know, I used to have nothing but like bloody stumps for fingertips. And suddenly it was like I had nails, you know? So one day I left therapy and it's just, I just felt like my heart had exploded open. And I was standing on the corner. I had to go get the subway at Sheridan Square to go uptown. And as I'm walking to the subway, the whole song is coming to me. You know, I want to cry. I want to uh, feel the world around me whirling by. It was like just that song is about one's heart opening. And I had this little uh, Chinese journal with me that I had to I had to get it all down. So the lyric came to me in my head, but then I got on the train and it was rush hour, but I got a seat. But you know how it is. There's all these people standing above me and I'm scribbling it down. I'm, I'm creating a staff line so I can write down melodies and, um, and the lyric. And at one point there was like a priest standing over me. And you know, the word Kyrie just came to me. Should I put another Kyrie? And he's staring and he starts to giggle. And I was, I was thinking like, is he giggling about, I was like, is he thinking, what's that Jew using the word Kyrie for? <laughs> But I, just, I just like, what was he laughing at? But I knew something amazing was going on, you know, and it happened to be at a time when I was the musical director for this singer named Terry Klausner. She became famous on Broadway first for she was the matinee Evita, you know, Patti oh, LuPone was the night. Wow. And then Terry started a show called Sophisticated Ladies. And I was her nightclub um, music director and we went to Monte Carlo and we, we performed all over the place. And I wrote that for Terry. And, you know, it just like one day I just brought it to her and said, I wrote you this song. And she was like, are you kidding me? Uh, and it was a big song for us. But then it just ended up being my song because, you know, the thing about it is I still stand by it. It's still how I feel about life. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I remember even I did it with Angelina Rayo at the, at the oh, ballroom yeah. and Teresa Stratus, you know this story? She came up to me afterwards and said, that song, that song. So then she called me the next day and we were going to do an album and the album was going to be called I Want to Fly. Stratus sings Gordon. And she even had the album cover designed where it was, it mirrored that uh, album cover of Lottie Lenya and Kurt Vile. She wanted to do that, but like she was Lottie Lenya, I was Kurt Vile. Um, but it was, it wasn't, it couldn't come to fruition. I mean, Teresa is a specific animal <laughs> and it just was like it, but what I did was I saved all the messages. So I literally have like an hour of Teresa Stratus's messages to me about the album, including her calling me on the phone and she would sing songs into the machine. Like one day she sang, will there really be a morning into my machine? And that alone is interesting because it was so slow. The idea that someone could do any phrase on the breath she was taking was so remarkable. So I was smart. I saved every message so no, so people would believe me. That's a gold I, mine. A, yeah, it's, a, it's hilarious, especially because I think she's going to be really remembered. You know, I mean, she's still alive, but she is pretty legendary. You know, she was like my favorite singer at that moment. Oh, she's fantastic. Great. Right? Great singer. Oh, my God. And it was right when she was doing those Nonsuch CDs, the Kurt Vile CDs, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, she was so, fantastic. So that's the story that's so. So then when you decided to do it, it was, I was really happy and I was really happy. If you remember it, the way you sang it, 
like I we worked on all the other songs and I had little ideas for edits and because that's the way they are. But for, there's something about when you and I did A Horse With Wings, it rolled out of us. You know what I mean? I felt like I played it beautifully. You sang it beautifully. I heard that I heard the draft. You guys send it to me and I was like, cut, paste, go. You know what I mean? It just it just felt like and I love that recording. I love that Arthur Levy, I'm sure he told you that he listens to that recording of that song and then burst into tears. Yeah, he told me that. He told it's me. It's very that. pure. It's just like and I think it's a beautiful way to end the C D. It is, and that's exactly from the from the get go. Once the compositions were chosen, I insisted, mm -hmm. I insisted that that be the, the final piece. Because so you're Teresa Stratus now. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't sing <laughs> it into your machine though. <laughs> <laughs> but I really felt it, the message I get from that song is is one of hope. You know that that you just strive for more, and you want more, and you want to make a difference. You want to be acknowledged. You want to have meaning to all that you do and all that you've done, you know, to be ready. And you want to feel connected. Yeah, exactly. I want to cry for those who live and those who die. I want to be in life, yeah. you know, in life with the people. Not barely just get by at, at the very end, that lyric. Mm -hmm. So great. Perfect segue to listen to the fantastic music of Ricky Ian Gordon, A Horse With Wings, words and music with Ricky playing the piano. Just 
just been such a pleasure to work with you and to know you all these years. And I look so forward to all the things in the future that we'll do together. I'm excited, excited for this C CD and for everyone to hear all your great music. And I encourage everyone to look further into the library and catalog of Ricky Ian Gordon songs. There are so many to choose from, just a vast variety of music and compositional styles that I know you'll love. So please, please spend some time listening to his music. Thanks, Stephen. Oh, thank you, Ricky. It was a pleasure to chat. Thanks for the time. Really appreciate it. Really? Congratulations on figuring out Zoom, too. to do our last three songs for the CD, all of which are Ricky's. That's right. So we are excited beyond words. That's right. I'm Great songs, so excited to sing them. Yes, I'm going to play my little fingers off. That's right. And I'll sing my little chords off. Yes. <laughs> which order?